Hi, how's it going? I just wanted to share some thoughts with you about playing with sticks and some mechanics and some some ideas and concepts that I've used for playing the drums. So for me, playing and being able to maintain you know, a career or m maintain longevity whilst you're able to play different styles of music and not worry about the fact that you might come unstuck technically. Um, and it's not just about playing lots of notes, it's about being comfortable playing any amount of notes. So how do you hold a drumstick? It's a good point. Basically, pick it up and hold it between your thumb and your first finger. Now this creates the fulcrum, pivot point, where the stick wants to move in the hand. Okay, so uh, I always tend to hold it about two thirds of the way down. Now, it's quite easy to find the place that it wants to rebound and work for you in the most natural way. And that is by letting the stick bounce off a drum or a pad in this case. So where is that point where if you play the head or play the stick into the head and you get this natural rebound. So if you have this, hold the stick too far back at the butt end, you can see you're not getting that full return. It just dead sticks. There's not enough uh, kinetic energy to combat gravity and the stick doesn't want to return to the full position and the original play position. If we hold it too far up, too far forward, you end up with a similar thing. There's not enough energy, kinetic energy for the stick to come back. So you find that point is about two thirds, I might have said it already, two thirds of the way down. And that kind of wants to basically come back you're using a small amount of energy to get the stick to to the drum but basically we have gravity on our side when we're going down but not on our side when we're coming back so you have that nice kinetic energy return okay so that's basically what we want to practice the first step holding the stick nice and loose not tight if you're holding it tight you can also hear you're dampening the actual sound of the stick. If you have it nice and open in the hand with a nice open grip, using the fulcrum and not choking it with your fingers, there you go. You can actually hear the resonance of the stick and the tone that you get from that. So this would be the first exercise. Can you let the stick bounce back to you with your hands open without dropping the stick? That's the first thing to learn how to do. So this can be, you know, you can say, okay, we're gonna do one, one in the eight in the hand. Using this concept. And we don't wanna hear this. That's is wrong. <laughs> I'm going to say it. It's not the way to hold a drumstick because that's the way you hammer in nails like that. Yeah, it, not like this. Your relaxed hand, and you're playing from the wrist. You're not playing from the elbow. nice and slow just let that stick come back to you come back to that vertical position even further you can see i'm kind of just be as loose and relaxed as possible let the stick resonate in your hand okay there you go thanks for watching and listening